No, you don't. Here it is. That's it, all right. All right, smart guy. The next time you want to play blind man, be sure you're smarter than the dog. Come on. Let me organize the girls' polo team. I think it'd be quite a novelty for the Riding Academy. What do you think of it, Frank? She's been pestering me for weeks about it. Well, I think it's a swell idea, Mr. Bruce. Dorothy plays a much better game than some men I know. <laughs> I might have expected that from you. All right, honey. You win. But I still think it's too rough a game for girls. <laughs> Where'd that dog come from? I never saw him around here before. Well, Jensen doesn't hurry to get back here. He'll find his lunch is gone. <laughs> yeah, boy. Well, you're not afraid of me, are you, old boy? Oh, nobody's going to hurt you. Oh, it's food you want, is it? Well, we'll see what we can do about that. Good. Oh, you poor dear, you must be starved. There goes Jensen's lunch. <laughs> well, I'll see you and Dorothy right after the first chucker. Right. All right, honey. You don't want to miss the start of the game. All right, Dad. Coming. Here. Help yourself. I don't think Catch her on there again, I'll break your neck. Keep your shirt on, old man. He's only trying to help you. Maybe he thinks you need another player. I'd have made that goal if he hadn't stopped the ball. Oh, forget it. We'll give you the goal. <laughs> Why, you idiot. Why don't you watch where you're going? That's your dog? Yes, but please, Mr. Crawford. He's a good dog. If he won't do it anymore. You bet he won't. And if I see him around there again, I'll have him shot. You better go. That Mr. Crawford's a bad fella. And he might shoot you, just like he said.
say. When it comes to polo, Bradley can play rings around Crawford. 